As you know, I've been having some major issues with the electrics on this bike. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tests I've done to try and eliminate some of the problems. First of all, I've got this manual and this covers 88202 model. So my bike's a 2001. And I've took these readings here. Um, so these are the ranges that they need to be um, for, the, for each component I'm going to test. I've just put them down on this piece of paper because they are on different pages. You know, it just makes it easier while I'm testing. So the source coil is should be 688 to 1032. And the pulser coil 192 to 288. So this is the pulser coil. And this here is the source coil. So the source coil provides the power to the CDI and the pulser coil is the one that triggers the spark. So I've got my multimeter there and um, I bought this one off Amazon. I needed a new one so I've just got this one actually and it's proven to be really good. Um, so I'm just going to switch this one on there and that's for ohms. And this is where I've got the the plugs plugged in so you can see. So I'm going to check the pulser coil first and again that is this one here, the one that triggers the spark. I'm just going to put these in here So I've got 281.2 and the range on the pulse coil is between 192 and 288. So that's showing that that's, that's good, that's okay. That's within the range. And next I'm gonna do the source coil. So that source coil, again, it's this one here. That supplies the power to the CDI. And the wires are here. A bit more tricky to get to. So that's 0 0.831. And it says 688 to 1032. So it definitely states in the manual 688 to 1032 ohms. And when we do our test, we're getting 0 0.840. So it's fluctuating slightly, but it's round about 0 0.840, it's, that's where it is now. So that's kilo ohms, it's not even an ohm. So that possibly means that that component's knackered according to the figures in the book. I've got another stator here and I can do the same checks with this one. So that one's showing 0 0.840 kilo ohms. So that's exactly the same, so how can you have two exactly the same unless that's what they're showing when they're knackered? Or is it what they're supposed to be? I'd feel free to correct me. We'll check the pulse coil on this one. Again, remember I'm no auto electrician, I'm just sort of doing this as I've learned. 286 on that one, so that's showing that that's all right. So that's ohms, 286.7 ohms. So that's showing the pulser coil and that one's all right. And according to the readings um, from the book, again, this, this, unless it's supposed to be kilo ohms and there's a fault in the book or something, I don't know. So 0841. Again, feel free to educate me in the comments. 
if you think this is what it's supposed to be or if it's knackered. Back to the bike, the pulse coil is showing 287.4, so that's good. And the source coil on this one is showing 0 0.803 kilo ohms again. So is this another knackered source coil? Um, or are these the readings that they're supposed to be? It just says ohms in the book, doesn't say kilo ohms, anything like that. So am I right in thinking that that isn't even a ohm? Um, again, feel free to educate me in the comments. So looking at these figures that I've written down identical from the book, do you think that the source coil's a problem? Feel free to let me know in the comments. Or is my issue the CDI? So I've got three spare CDI units there. I've tried that one on the bike and I'm not getting any joy with that one either. Um, sorry, not that one, this one here with the plugs on. What I was thinking of doing is I bought these connectors here off Amazon and I was thinking of making a loom up. I know out of all that spaghetti wire there, I've got some new wire as well, I've got some better wire than that. Obviously I'd continuity check it all, the wire that I use, so I'd check it for breaks. But I was thinking of making up another loom um, with these connectors and putting connectors on these CDIs um, and seeing if I can get something from these because if there's a possibility I've got a knackered CDI, I mean I've got four CDI units, you'd think at least one of them would work. But then I've got three stators as well and they're all showing the same reading from the source coil. Um, anyway, I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to let me know what you think um, of the readings I've took. So that's how you test the source coil and the pulser coil on a DT125R and pretty much any bike. The readings are there for anyone else that needs them to check their components on their bike and also you can see now the tests that I've done, people that are following um, the problems I'm having with this bike, you can see the tests I've done and your input will be much appreciated in the comments. Um, again, I'm not an auto electrician, I do work on a lot of bikes as you know. Um, but yeah, I've done the tests as it says to do them with uh, figures from in the manual. Um, the saucer coil, if anyone's got more um, experience than me on this and wants to give their input in the comments, that'd be great if you think the source coil is a problem. Um, it could be a misprint in the book, it says that the figures there, it's showing it's in kilo ohms um, when I, on the readings I'm getting and it's showing ohms on the, in the manual. Um, so it could be knackered, I don't know, let me know. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, feel free to subscribe. I've got some great um, giveaways, some great presents for the giveaway in the Christmas draw. Um, again, it's a free Christmas draw. Basically, you just have to be subscribed to my channel to be in the draw and answer a simple question. I'll do a video closer to Christmas um, with the question. And whoever answers a question, it'll be something stupid. You'll be entered into the Christmas draw. Um, obviously, it's for people in the UK only. Um, that's due to postage but yeah um, thanks for your input in advance for this video and I hope someone can give me a little more um, help with this electrical issue I'm having on the bike thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video